Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazel Nutty Games, and this is how I take out Jeremy Fiesel for his daily quest at the Dark Moon Fair. The quest can be done once per day per account, so no alt farming here. It will get you the Dark Moon Pet Supplies, which will give you five Dark Moon Prize tickets, assorted pet supplies, and a chance at the Dark Moon Eye Pet. Here's what I use for this fight. In my top slot, I have my Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling, upgraded to rare quality. I keep his move set to Breath, Bombing Run, and Decoy. Next, you'll want a strong elemental pet with elemental damage. It will be easier if your pet has a speed that is faster than 280. I'm using my Pandaren Fire Spirit with a speed of 289 and move set to Burn, Flamethrower, and Conflagrate. For my last pet, I brought my Cog Blade Raptor. Pick your best mechanical pet with mechanical damage and a speed higher than 294. His moves are set to Batter, Overtune, and Exposed Wounds. Okay, so make sure that you have your Pandaren Dragonling in your top slot and a Dark Moon game token to start the fight and then go do it. All right, you, I challenge you. Perfect, so he's going to start with Judgment, which is his Dark Moon Eye Pet. You can see his moves are all weak against us as are Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. Full strategy against this pet is mash your breath button, it will kill him before he kills you. Uh, it's really as simple as that. Doesn't take very long. And he's really doing some pretty pitiful damage against you, so nothing to really worry about here. He does occasionally get a speed boost off on you. I wouldn't worry about it, you're still going to take care of him. As soon as the eyeball dies, you want to switch out to your fire pet. Do not use the rest of your dragon league. Switch out to your fire pet immediately. Well, your, your elemental damage pet. Tricky thing here is if RNG hates you, Shock and All will stun you and you will hate your life. It doesn't happen that often though and you can usually still recover. Here I'm going to go ahead with Flamethrower and then Conflagrate to get the full Conflagrate damage. We should be doing some pretty solid damage here. This pet can hit you like a truck so you really want to take care of it as quickly as possible. You do not want this thing hanging out. He is not your buddy. And there we go. Oh no! What are the chances? 10%, 10% were the chances. <laughs> no problem. We are faster than him, which means that we have a pretty good jump on him and we took care of that with no problem. He does come back, but that's okay because we have lots of life left. Refresh your flamethrower if you have a burning dot so that it remains on the field if you can and gets a little bit of extra damage off on the monkey. The monkey is the worst part of this whole thing. <laughs> All right, so he's down. Fezwick is out. Fezwick is a bad man. Um, he's out and he's gonna kill you. He's actually gonna stun you and that's probably the most annoying thing is he can stun you a lot. Clobber has a five turn cooldown and it really just sucks. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the rest of this pet. It's probably not gonna live through this attack. And there we go, he's down. Now that that's happened, I'm gonna switch out to my Pandaren Dragonling and use the rest of him. We have brought along Bombing Run for the purpose of extra damage against Fezwick. There we go. And then use Decoy as soon as you've done that, assuming that you're still alive. There we are. Decoy will only block one of those banana attacks, but you know what? It helps. And sometimes it can block something like a Clobber or a Smash. All right, so we're down, but we come back because we are the magical mechanical type, not overpowered at all. And get in just as much damage as you can here, get another breath in. What are the odds? 10%. 10% are the odds. <laughs> That's okay, that bomb is still going to fall on his head and there's nothing he can really do about that. So what I'm going to do here, I think, this is a little bit risky. I'm going to expose wounds before I start battering him. Because our speed is higher and he doesn't have anything that can lower our speed, we're really just going to mush on him really hard with this. And he's about to get hit with the bomb. We should be able to take him out right here. Batter, batter, there we go, that's how it's done. <laughs> so that's it, thank you so much for watching. Check out my channel for more pet battle and WoW related content on top of some other stuff. Subscribe and have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.